Hey, Jonathan. Hi, I'm looking for the work and I'm reading your writing and looking at your visual progressions then looking at your new experiments here. And boy, I, I'll tell you what, I, you know what? I got to disagree, man. I think this is your answer right here. I really do. I think this is, is going to work just beautifully. A couple of comments here for you um, regarding the, the presentation and the, the way that this might work moving forward. First of all, I think that one of the things, the mistakes you're making is you've, you've fallen in love with this this typeface here. And we can see that because you've used it in every one of your iterations. I think that's a mistake, Jonathan. I really do. I, I don't think you should lock into a typeface while you're still in the experimental stage. This is fascinating. I think this mark, the reasoning behind it, I think it's fascinating. It definitely needs to be cultivated into something we can use. And I've got some ideas on how to do that. Northern Lights, I, 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 you know, I'm going to tell you something. I've been teaching this class for a while now, and the reason I stay away from Northern Lights in this project is this. It's because every student, and I'm not even joking, every student who is considered Iceland wants to do something with the Northern Lights. And it that's fine, but it's really super predictable. I'm saying it's 10 out of 10 students say, I want to do something with the Northern Lights. My comment to the 11th student is, hey, let's try to find something um, – that's not quite so common of a result of, as a as a uh, um, solution. Do, do you see what I'm saying? So let's try not to be so obvious. And I think using the Northern Lights, I think it's, it's kind of probably an overdone kind of choice. Um, so I'm not real sure about that. Plus, this is going to be really super hard to scale and to use in, in the proper logo setting. Very difficult with these brush marks back here. I, it's not going to work for that reason. Um, and I anticipate a lot of issues. Now, don't get me wrong, man. It's not bad. It's not bad. Visually, I think it's, it's really super fascinating. And I think there's an, uh, enough we can do here with the pictograms to make them work. But as far as the mark itself goes, I'm, I'm down with this right here. Let me zoom in here so I can show you some things, okay? All right. This, I know you said you were going for this hand rendered type, but I think that's a mistake. Digitize it. Make it look like it's digital. Make it look like it's digital based off those original sketches, the um, stave sketches, or I'm not sure what, if that's what they were called. But all right. And then stuff like this. OK, like this has really got to be fixed and all these overlapping points right here. OK, and that like, you know, just really go back. Try to refine this into a usable mark. Right now, this cross or the stave behind it that's holding the head, it's like what this thing coming down here is just, it doesn't, it's not working. So it looks like a mistake. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, these hand rendered, th these are cool. I like these. I don't know if I would stay with the Olympic colors for your logo because that's their branding, not your branding. That's the Olympic branding. Let's let them do their own branding and we'll work on our branding. Um, so I would not incorporate the Olympic colors into the logo itself. I would select different colors based on your, your history and your research of the location. This being a mark, I think would be good. My suggestion using this mark would be to, to compose it with the mark, okay, then, whoops, the mark, then the type underneath the mark, and then the Olympic rings smaller under that. So again, take a look at this relationship. The mark, the type, and then underneath the type, the Olympic rings. Okay. Um, you know, you can use this typeface. I think it, it works. I, I do. I just don't think that it's, I think you should have used more experimentation than some of your other instead of sticking with the same typeface. And try some others too. You might try juxtaposing this with Maybe a more of a digital version, something that doesn't look so hand rendered. See how that works. But basically, that's the direction that I, I recommend. I think that's the strongest visual direction that you have so far in your arsenal. As far as this goes, your um, uh, pictograms with the northern lights, I think that's fine. I mean, something like this would be fine. But the only thing here is, uh, let me see, pictograms. Okay, luge. Ice hockey. Th these guys look kind of, they don't look very athletic. I, I mean, I, this guy looks kind of chubby. And I know that, you know, I know it is a pictogram. I get that. But can we kind of make that guy a little less chubby and a little more almost like 
I don't know what's the word, like organic movement. Like this guy doesn't look like he's chubby and he looks like he's got movement, nice organic flow. Whereas this guy right here just kind of looks like. <clears throat> so try to, you know, try to give your pictograms a little more, I guess, more athletic shape, um, form, as it were. But the, I think the background for the Northern Lights for that, I think, is fine. Okay. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to give me a holler. But I think you're doing a great job. Thanks very much, man.